Awesome. Musky. Let's go. There we are. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to NB Edits. It has been a while since you guys have seen us. We've taken a little bit of time off and uh, it's been a busy, crazy summer, as all of you probably know. But we've had a very eventful beginning to the month of July, and we've been away for a little bit. Nick actually got a new puppy. He's got a new dog to the family. And we've been crazy busy with work, crazy busy with fishing and everything else that's going on in this crazy world right now. But it is time to take some time away, go up north, and start camping and that is exactly what you guys are going to be seeing in the next few videos we are starting a series being up here in northern wisconsin getting away from everything we are just going to be focusing on camping and fishing strictly for the next nine days so we're going to go ahead start getting everything all set up we just got to our campsite up here we're camping in northern wisconsin and we're going to be up here like i said for nine days straight and it's going to be awesome so we've got the kayaks here we've got the boat actually guys come check it out check out the setup that we've got it's not too bad so we've got both nick and i's new canoe frontier 12s with us and we've got the boat with us obviously you guys have probably seen this in our videos we built this this winter slash spring and we've been using it so far this year and it's been absolutely amazing we picked this boat up for 500 bucks and it's pretty work. awesome. We we uh, we did some work to it. It's all carpeted, all new floorboards, the whole works. We got a trolling motor up front. It's freaking awesome. Now some of the lakes up here we can use this boat. Other lakes we can't. So we're going to be taking John boats. Nick's dad still isn't even here, and we're going to be using John boats that he's bringing. He's also bringing his big boat. Our other buddy's got a big boat. We've got John boats, kayaks, you name it. We are going to be fishing every lake that we can up here over the course of the next nine days but we've got a lot of work ahead of us. We still gotta get the boat ready, all of our fishing stuff ready. We've gotta set up our truck tent. We're gonna be truck camping all week long at numerous different campsites. This is just where we're starting right now. And honestly guys, this is gonna be some of the best quality, best content that we've ever put out. We are focusing strictly on all sorts of different cinematics, just hard, hardcore fishing, extreme truck camping. That's what we wanna get up here and do and just get away from everything else. So, like I said, we're gonna continue getting everything set up. We're gonna probably eat some lunch. So we're gonna put some brats over the fire. It's gonna be great. And then we're gonna get into some fishing later. So, we'll see you guys in just a little bit. Okay, well, there we have it guys. This is gonna be our away from home for the week. Uh, actually for what, the next eight or nine days. This is our Napier truck tent. This thing is freaking sweet. If you guys are new to the channel or have not seen any of our truck camping videos, this thing is absolutely awesome. It was probably one of the better purchases that we've made. This is my Ford F-150 here, full size truck. This is just an XL. So we got, I don't know, what is that? You know, with the tailgate down, I think it's like seven and a half feet. So if I open this up here, show you guys. This is nice because it takes you off of the ground. So now like back over here, we got my dad's tent. And I mean, that's regular nice tent, but if it rains or anything, you know, you're on the ground. This is nice because if you're moving around or whatever, you can just get up and go. We have been reading your guys' comments on the truck camping videos, and you're saying, you know, well, because we usually don't have anything, but now we got the huge XL version here, and we're both gonna be chilling in here. Lots of room, lots of comfort for the first time, I think, ever. But yeah, this thing is freaking nice. We got the rain cover over the top because we are expecting some rain at some point during the week, and it is actually a little bit colder up here versus what it has been for the past like 
I don't know, past two weeks it's been like 90 every day, so thank God it's not going to be like that. That is what we're going to be staying in. I'm going to zip this up so we don't get any bugs in here. Well, so now I guess that we got the truck tent set up, we got the boat and the kayaks all ready. We got the rods all set up, coolers put away. I guess now what we're going to be doing is, well, I guess we could show you guys who the heck we're going to be camping with for the week because you are probably going to be seeing them throughout the series. So we'll head on over here. Go over to my dad's tent. We're gonna be staying at his campsite. We got we got my dad's friend, Paul, Mr. Fred. He's gonna be starring in today's episode and uh, the whole entire week. He's gonna be slaying some big fish, keeping it very entertaining, hopefully. You know what you're doing there, Paul? I do. And we got <laughs> we got over here, we got my dad. I think he's been in a few videos, but probably more of the older ones where we didn't really do a, a really good job of filming or anything, but he has been in a <laughs> few. Walleye slayer. Hell yeah, yes. a walleye slayer. Hopefully Dang. get us on top of some walleyes <laughs> this week. And then they're gonna be camping over there. Well, my dad's here, but Paul's gonna be over there. And then keep going, we got that guy in the red over there. Ooh, gunner. But that is Paul's son. He's gonna be staying over there. And gonna be catching some big fish this week, hopefully. Hopefully, that's, that's the really the big goal here. And then who are these guys over here? And if we walk over here to the main campsite, we got my grandparents. Oh, hi. Hi. Who do you got here? Also my Bella. Bella. Hi, Bella. Yeah. <laughs> She's blind as a bat, guys. She can't really see anything, but that's okay. This is gonna be the main main place that we're gonna be making all the meals and stuff like that throughout. They the got week. the rig. Check this thing out. The old copper canyon. This thing is gonna be the plug. Well, as you can tell, this is a lakeside view, so here, come on down here. So, we come down here. Now, the water is extremely high in this lake. Actually, all the lakes up here in northern Wisconsin have definitely filled up. So, when I was a little kid, because I've been coming up to this campsite for like my whole life, this was never like this. You could walk around this entire lake. But we we're on, I don't know, this is probably like a 60-acre lake filled with bass. I mean, lily pads all over the place. And it's it's probably well it's one of my favorite bass lakes bass fish, but it has some giants. I've caught some really nice ones out of here. I know there's even bigger ones. My dad's caught his PB, which was like I don't know, it was a long time ago. It was like 22 and a half, six some pounds. I don't know, huge fish. But this is going to be the main place. But luckily in the area that we're going to be staying, we have like 30 lakes, just like all on the same road. I mean, Northern Wisconsin, we're blessed to have as many lakes as we do up here, so we're gonna be bouncing through them, but this lake is, I'm telling you, it's its pristine. If I could cast right here, I would show you, cause I'd probably catch one on my first cast, like on a weedless frog, but there's too many trees. But if I could, I, I'm gonna tell you, I could I don't probably, know, I think you could maybe. Like one right through here? Yeah, just shoot it out onto the pads. Otherwise, otherwise, have an idea, there is a boat landing to this lake. Uh, some of the other ones, there's not really boat landings, but there is one for this lake, which is just around the corner up there. We could head on down there, take a few casts, just offshore with the weedless frog, set the tone for what this week is gonna be, see if they're gonna be biting. It does kind of feel like a cold front or a storm's kind of moving through, but I'm telling you, I don't think that's gonna matter here. So why don't, why don't we do that? You wanna do that? Yeah. Just like go take a few casts? Let's All right, go grab a rod. let's go grab a rod, go see if we can catch a fish. Huh. He rod to pick from. Dude, we the arsenal was arsenal, looking good. But we did bring quite a few. This guy right here. Well, yeah, obviously this one because it's got the weedless frog, but we were running strictly Fox River. As you guys know, we work with Fox River, but we were going to be running all Fox River this week, different setups, all that good stuff. But this is going to be the guy already, you know, lined up with 50 pound braid and then we got the Guggen Squad frog. I don't even know what it's honestly called. I just know it's a Guggen Squad, but Eat me. yeah, I don't know. We're going to take a walk down there though. And See if we can catch the bass. Oh, looking beautiful out here. Lots and lots of lily pads. I can't stress enough how many freaking lily pads are on this lake. Well, that's good for us because what are we throwing? The weedless frog. So that's pretty cool. We've taken our first cast here, seeing how this week is going to go here. Now, I'm not expecting one on the first cast, but this lake does slap, and it very much could happen. Launch the frog out there. See what is shaking. Oh my God. 
Did you see that? <laughs> that thing was giant. Jesus Christ. Okay, get it back out there. Oh my God, guys. First freaking cast, and I got absolutely destroyed. Not sure how he missed it. Must be a stupid bass, but it was a big stupid bass, which is my favorite kind of bass. <laughs> that thing was huge. Holy. Looking for a ride. Oh my God, there he is. There he is. Let's go. Is that the same fish? It's gotta, it's gotta be. be. That was like literally same cast. Oh my God, get him through. Dude, look at this stuff. <gasps> oh no. Oh, come on, baby. Seems like a decent fish. I am pulling him through a lot of stuff. Oh my God, come on. bass. That's a nice bass, let's go. Oh, oh my God. No, come on. No, no, jump in. Where? Get him. Dude, no way. Oh my God, did you see that? That was like a five pounder. Oh my God, that thing was gigantic, dude. <laughs> so like I was saying, <laughs> That's going to set the tone for the week, and apparently it's going to be a good week. He's not like right here, is he? No, he was right in these weeks. Did you get the shot of him? I had to have, dude. His mouth came open. He was big. Uh, like big, big. Like big, Like big. for northern Wisconsin. That was big, If big. you can get one over like 20 inches, 5 pound range, it's a big fish. And that, that had to have been in that caliber. I don't even believe that. Oh my god. Hit once, like literally destroyed. I've never seen a bass hit so hard. Made that same exact cast, absolutely destroyed it again, lost him three feet in front of him. Oh my but, gosh, he just came up and shook it know, like right here. You know, first cast. Um, yeah, <laughs> okay. Sadly enough, I know you guys want to see us continue fishing. You know, we did bring the yaks and stuff like that. We could take them out here right now, but this is the very first day. You know, we were just setting up camp and we still got some work to do and it is almost dinner time, so we're going to have to do some dinner. But I know all the guys, my dad just did get here like a half an hour. We were waiting on him because it is a ritual that we all go cut wood because we brought a lot of food and a lot of meat, right? But we're not like at a convenience store and we're not at home with like our fridge and our stove and stuff like that. So in order to cook the food, we need fire. And in order to have fire, we need wood. So that's where we're going to go get we're gonna go into the woods, the spot that we were staying, you have to cut your own wood in the forest because the stuff that you get like from say a, a gas station or something could have certain bugs on it that could destroy the forestry. So we have to go physically cut our own and that's what we're gonna be doing. And then we're gonna cook dinner and then I think we're gonna do some walleye fishing tonight. So no tuned. bass fishing after no, just no, losing no, a five no, no. pounder? No, 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 we got plenty of time for that. And believe it or not, like this lake does have some giants. There are a few in the area though that have even bigger. Now, maybe not largemouth, but smallmouth. We are gonna be hitting a lot of smallmouth and there are some freaking toads. So unfortunately, I don't wanna stop, but we're gonna to have to because I know my dad's gonna be strolling down here any minute to kick my ass. So we better get there, start cutting that wood and get this week started off right. Oh boy. fill up the entire bed of my grandpa's truck all with wood and we're gonna be we're gonna be burning a lot a lot of them. We gotta like. find some dead trees my dad is on a mission that's for sure oh he, yeah he literally stopped the truck and just instantly was like ripping the chainsaw getting her cut he wants to get this done so do i because i want to go fishing so i'm gonna set the camera down we're gonna get this bed all loaded up with wood and we'll see you guys back at the campsite Okay, well, check it out. We have oh, got... That, that's not gonna last us very long. No, but this will at least get us through tonight and probably tomorrow. I mean, it probably looks like a lot of wood, but we pretty much keep the fire rolling all day long. As you guys can tell, we've got a brewing. Yeah. This is a good fire you got here, Jim. This is nice. We're gonna go ahead and uh, start getting stuff ready to make dinner. We're gonna be grilling it over the fire tonight. Probably just making brats for the first night, but uh, 
These two here, they're usually pretty good at making some mad meals for us, they're, uh, especially breakfast. I am so ready for breakfast tomorrow morning, but for right now, we're just going to get everything else situated and start working on dinner. What is on the menu tonight? Well, I'll tell you what. What do we got here? What are these? Some Johnsonville, New Orleans, andouille recipe. Smoked sausage. Okay, not brats, but smoked sausage. That looks actually pretty good. I think we're probably going to start with these. And hold up. You know what else I see sitting in here? Is that Ooh. bush light apple? Oh, baby. I always come prepared. That is a move right there. Nick was able to get limited edition bush light apple. Let's just, you know, maybe mess around with it. Oh, bush. We love that. Mm-hmm. All right, that is tasty. Now, if you're under 21 watching this video, I do not condone of underage drinking, but when you are old enough, I hope they keep this stuff around because it is delicious. Now, let's go ahead, make the old smoked sausage. We're gonna roast these over the campfire. That one got cheesy? Uh, no. Yeah, they're cheesy, I guess. That, that I was help. hoping it was cheese when it started dripping out because it looked like some weird kind of fat for a second. Yeah. But. <laughs> oh yeah, those are looking real good. Nothing better than a brat over the fire while you're camping. Looking pretty good. How much longer we got? Well, I didn't yeah, poke no them directly in the middle, so I don't think we can flip them. This side's real good. This side lacking a little bit, but that's okay. Right. You'll learn over time. Yeah. We are Perfection. ready. Three though, and there's two of us. I don't know yeah, we're going to have to grill probably the other three, I'm thinking. So we each get three. <laughs> Dinner is looking good. Trust me on this one, it is going to get better than this meal. Oh, this is just the first night, like just got to camp, you know. I'm telling you guys, every meal after this, it only goes up. Get some ketchup on them dogs. Ooh, comes out a little wild. Cheers We're pretty to good. camping. Cheers to camping, buddy. Mmm. Not bad. Good old Johnsonville brats. Nothing better. Well, as you guys can tell, we are not fishing. We have actually not left this campsite. We're just sitting around the campfire because it is extremely windy, as you guys can probably hear at least a little bit. The winds are... Uh, gusting away and it's keeping us here not on the water so we're a little bit disappointed but that's okay i think we're gonna wake up early and hopefully the winds die down start hitting the water hard before breakfast maybe even depending on uh how ambitious we're feeling or we're just sitting around the campfire enjoying ourselves paul what's the biggest fish gonna be tomorrow oh i'm gonna go with a 20 inch largemouth 20 inch large mouth. I'll I mean, even let one of you guys have it. Wow, wow what a guy. Generous. I'm swallowed. I mean, we already possibly lost one today that was, as you guys saw earlier. Like I said, pretty crazy, but that was an awesome way to uh, start the trip off. So we're going to spend a little bit longer warming up around the campfire here. And once this wood burns out, we're probably going to be hitting the hay. So we'll see you guys over at the truck tent. She is looking nice and cozy. But I'm gonna keep that close so we don't get any bugs inside of there. Folks, we made it back to the campsite. We are ready for bed. It's getting late and we've got a big, big day ahead of us tomorrow. We're gonna try and get up early and hopefully these winds that we're experiencing right now start to die down because we wanna get on top of some fish right away in the a.m. We already had a big day today. We got all the wood and everything cut for the next couple of days. We got some meal prepping done. We got everything's all set up at all three of our campsites that we have here. And got a little taste of what the fish could be like for us this week. I don't know. But they already have like a five plus pound fish possibly on the line. I still cannot believe that that one came off, but 
it's just exciting to see what this whole week could be like for us. So again, we're gonna get uh, ready for bed here and uh, tomorrow morning is going to be where it all starts. So if you guys enjoyed, you're gonna have to make sure to stay tuned until the next one. This is just episode one of this series. So again, if you guys enjoyed, stay tuned. We've got a lot more content coming. We're gonna hit the bed and we'll see you on the next one, Tight Lines from NB Edits.